Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You, and in today's video um, on Terraform, we're going to be going over provider versioning. Now, whenever you're using um, uh, Terraform, you're going to be using providers that uh, have API access into these different um, resources and applications that you want to provision. And with that, they have certain versions that come out that add additional functionality, deprecate older functionality. So with that, you might have times where you could be using some commands that might work in one uh, one way, but then when it's updated in a new in a new version, you, it, it could break some things, or the way you're used to doing it, you just might have to change up. So with that, Terraform has ways to um, you know kind of uh, control that in a way, so that you know you can control the versions, the upgrades, things like that when you're working across teams. So whenever you're first creating a, uh, a Terraform file here, you got your main.tf and in there you're gonna have your required providers and then obviously your provider that you're gonna be using. So if we were to open up a file here and go to Google Chrome, or actually open up Terraform, we could go inside the registry and let's look for AWS. Okay, and as we can see up here at the top, the version, latest version is 4.28.0. But let's say you're on a version that's older. So we'll, we'll go back um, a couple years, let's say 2.16.0. So we're gonna go version equals then 2.16.0 and we're going to save that and we're going to run terraform init so that's going to initialize it it's going to download that version uh oh, i think i got it misspelling okay so don't worry about these other um blocks here we'll get into that but basically this is just kind of showing how it's going to um, download and lock everything inside our lock file. So as you can see, um, Terraform, when you do, you know, run this initialization, it's going to create this lock file that's going to have your version constraints, current version, and things like that. So you never want to change or edit anything specifically in here, but this is a way to kind of, you know, um, keep your, you know, your the file in your current working directory, you should include the lock file in your version in, in, in the actual file that you're working in. So you don't want to really make any changes in there. So as you can see, we've got a version constraint. So as you start adding providers, they'll add the version constraints inside of there. So now let's go in and then we can see that the, uh, Provider 2.16.0 was downloaded here. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, try to update that. So if we update this to, let's say, let's do 4.28.0, right? And if you try to run that, you cannot retrieve the list of available versions for the lock provider version 2.16.0 does not match your configuration constraint. You must use the upgrade. So, you know, if you're working across a team of individuals that uh, are essentially using that same version, you may not necessarily want to um, uh, run that upgrade because you could essentially deprecate commands that are being used in your code, which could essentially break things. So, you know, sometimes you may want to run that in like a controlled environment, things like that. But then again, you don't necessarily want to come in here and change it. So what you could do also is you could do, you know, it's greater than or equal, let's say 4.0.0. And then you could run the Terraform init upgrade and then it's going to automatically go out and get the latest now if you're in a dev environment and you're always wanting to be on the latest and greatest you know you could do something like that 
you can just change what you want. But then if we go inside our lock file here, we can see we have our constraint and then we have the version that we're on. So that's it there. Uh, that's just a quick little video on versioning. Um, that's gonna help out a lot when you're running into problems with commands. Uh, maybe there's certain things that you're trying to do in your Terraform that you're trying to do for that provider and you're probably wondering why it shouldn't be working and it should. Well, the provider may have released a newer version that could have uh, included that ability now. And with that, you'll just want to make sure you check on your version constraints and the version that you're on. Again, you know, that's just a simple video there. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Be, uh, feel free, uh, be free to get back with you. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.